Welcome back to the channel guys, the Psychotic Circus of Savannah. I recently put up a poll to see what you guys wanted me to unbox next. An overwhelming amount of you chose the Heads Up Harry Clown, which I recently got. So we're gonna unbox him, and we're also gonna talk about what's been going on with me, my family, my channel, all things Psychotic Circus, and all things Halloween. So if you're ready to dive into it, hit the like button, cause here we go. Before we unbox and set up Heads Up Harry, I want to kind of talk about where we've been with the channel and what's been going on with my life. I know you guys have had a lot of questions. I've seen it in the comments. I've seen it in the discords. No, I'm not dead. Yet. I know like almost immediately after Halloween, we kind of went MIA. With over 1,500 trick-or-treaters on Halloween night, it was clearly our biggest Halloween. We had to take some time to recoup and kind of get our heads and wits about things and also decide where we wanted to go with the channel. On top of that, I have a very large family. I've been juggling my career and my life as a father and husband. Meanwhile, wanting to do my videos because I absolutely love being here with you guys. In mid-2021, I got a new job and with that, way more travel. And there's pros and cons to that. The pros are... And the cons are... We've also tried to iron out a schedule where you and I can be on the same page of knowing exactly when new videos will be coming out. I really enjoy doing this and editing videos, but it's kind of been hard to tackle writing scripts, unboxing everything, getting little sketches in, editing, making sure the quality is there, on top of all of my personal stuff that I kind of talked about just a little bit. But I want to say I appreciate your patience. Thank you so much for still being here, still helping support the channel. But let's dive into what we actually came here for. Heads up, Harry. You may be wondering why the boxes look like complete ass. It's because I found these in San Diego, California, and I had to have them shipped to my house out here, and the seller didn't have the original box. Let's cut this open and put the guy together. So inside the box, we got one faded clown wig, one AC adapter, one leg piece that kind of looks like a hamper for like a dwarf or something. I'm not a dwarf, I'm a lesbian and one heads up Harry with this little thing on top of his head. Now, everything I've looked at online, I've never seen a heads up Harry with that thing on top of his head. I've asked some people in the haunt world and I've gotten two different answers. One of them is, it's probably a prototype, which I doubt. The other reason is somebody did a custom job on this guy. And usually I wouldn't want a piece with a custom job, but this custom job makes him so much better. Let's put him together and check it out. Now, when I first got this guy, he's clearly different than the majority of my animatronics and I thought he might have been the smaller Heads Up Harry. There's a couple different Heads Up Harry sizes, but there's actually a collapse button on the bottom for storage, so he can be a lot smaller. And if I press that collapse button, he gets much taller. So this guy's actually gonna be one of the easier animatronics I've ever had to put together. It's pretty much majority of it right there. We gotta get his costume all put together with a couple Velcro pieces and he looks great. We just have to put his wig on. But first, the piece on top takes a nine volt battery. Kids, try this at home. So when we plug this in, his eyes actually light up. This is that customization piece that I was saying is so much better. He normally doesn't have light up eyes. I'm really, really happy with that. Toss on his dusty old wig. Ta-da! Now all we have to do is plug him in and you guys can check him out. Really working. Uh, okay, it's not. I need to quit while I'm ahead. 
Heads up Harry. What can I say about the guy? For being a prop from 2011, I'm really proud of his quality and just how well he's held up over the last 11 years. Other than his eye movement not working, everything else works really, really well. When I first tested him out in San Diego, his eye movement did work, so I imagine that something may have come apart uh, in the shipping, but his eyes lighting up definitely makes up for the lack of movement. Now, other than his faded wig, his costume is really in pretty decent condition. There's no major rips or tears on his latex. There's not any major stains or holes that take away from his costume. There's a couple threads on his little pom-poms that could be tightened up, but for the most part, he's actually in very good condition. His mouth movement is pretty decent, and his arm movement is loud, which you can hear now but the lights at the bottom and top of his neck light up really well, really giving that bloody glow effect, especially at nighttime, really showing how much Heads Up Harry is totally unique. Now I'm really surprised I was able to find this guy and he was completely working, his mouth movement worked, his vocal box still worked, his movement worked, his lights worked. I really wanted this guy pretty much since I started collecting clowns. I didn't want to pay an arm and a leg for it and I wasn't going to lose my head trying to find a good deal. See, see what I did there? It's, I'm, I'm pretty clever, right? Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this one of your favorite clowns that we've unboxed on the channel? And make sure if you're not subscribed that you do. We have so many more unboxings. I literally have like five or six props right to my right hand side that we have to unbox here shortly. We have decided on a schedule to upload on a regular basis and we will be doing lives again on a regular basis. In the past, my internet service is like has been McDonald's Wi-Fi quality. And when I've tried to play games with some of you guys on my lives, there's been huge delays and sometimes it just looks like it's filmed on a potato. But praise spirit because they're finally giving us fiber optic cable within about a month. That's supposed to be up and running and we are super excited. Thank you guys again for sticking around. We have so much more to do. We're back, get it? I appreciate all of you so, so, so much. And with that being said, happy haunts.